see you there. Good game, man. Thanks, bro. See you later. Hey, my name's John Paco, and I'm here to talk to you about the history of billiards. Dictionary.com defines billiards as any series of several games played with hard balls and hit with a cue ball after it's been struck with the pool stick. So you might be wondering, why did I choose billiards as my topic? Well, m my friend Donnie you saw here doesn't really know much about pool. He thought it was created in the 1950s. I didn't think so. He also said the game hasn't changed. I didn't think so either. So I researched it. And I found plenty of hard facts that proved that I was right. Now, when looking at the billiards, there's some, several things that go into it. The table, the pool stick, as you can see in the corner, and the balls that are supposed to be made of ivory, but now today are created with synthetic rubber. Pool was first created in 15th century France. It was invented after some people were playing croquet. They decided to bring the game indoors by creating their mini table top that you see presented in front of you. Um, the French came with the word billiard by a combination of two words. Billiard, which means wooden stick, and billy, which means balls. Uh, the table was covered with wool and dyed green to resemble uh, grass outside in a normal croquette, croquette stain, uh, stain. They had two wooden balls on the table. They would hit them around the table with uh, what they called uh, maces as wooden sticks. As you can see defined here, as you can see here, the maces are what they're holding in their hands and it doesn't quite look like a normal pool stick. And the object of this game was the same as croquette where they would try to hit their ball through the little rings in the middle of the field. Um, there was no pockets on these tables and there was no set uh, parameters to the table that you would normally find in a pool table seen today. The table was estimated to be about four feet by four feet and only the rich were the ones who could uh, play this game because it was just newly invented and not many people knew about it. The picture I brought up now is a picture of 18th century England where the British are playing pool. This is when the pool table first experienced its major change to the equipment used. The reason for the uh, major change in equipment is because the industrial revolution changed everything making it more easier for materials to be accessed uh, for making pool tables. The big change, the first big change that they uh, made was the Q-tips. The Q-tips were no longer we're not on the original 15th century pool sticks. The sticks were actually manufactured to be slim and thunder, slender like a cane and the Q-tip was put on top of it to make a better strike when hitting the cue ball. Balls were changed from wooden to actual ivory made from elephant's tusks. The British also added rubber railings to the sides to allow the ball to bounce off of it and created the first ever bank shot. The British used chalk as well to rub on the cue stick so that when they hit the uh, cue ball it would create a good strike allowing them to put spin on it. This is the first time in history that spin was ever allowed to be in manufactured into the game of pool creating a whole new style of play. Um, the table was still um, covered in wool uh, that was dyed green. Uh, the, there was parameters, parameters added to the table now. There was a two to one ratio, so the length had to be two times the width. And the tables built in this time period were seen from seven feet to a full size 12 feet. Um, the wood that was used to create the tables was made of simple wood, uh, just like in the old uh, 15th century. The only problem with this is that it tends to warp quickly, allowing the table to be ruined within a couple of years. So you had to keep constantly making new pool tables. Tool, pool, tool, pool table slash billiard table had six pockets and three balls used in their particular game that the British used. Um, they weren't, they were expensive at first because, you know, their new table, not many people could afford them. But most of the pubs had them to bring in business. 
And that's people just started loving the game of pool uh, and billiards down in British. And to this day, they still play snooker, which is uh, a famous game with 22 balls that they play and will have actual tournaments. So moving on from the 18th century England towards the later century, of, well, towards the later half of the 18th century, is when America first got its pool table. Some famous people who actually were documented playing the pool table, or billiards table, were George W. Bo or George Washington, I'm sorry, George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson. Um, the style was much different here than in uh, 18th century England because they played with uh, a pool table that was the same parameters, 7 to 12 feet, you know, 2 by 1 with like the English, but instead of 6 pockets, they played with uh, only 4, and they only played with 4 balls too. Um, the balls were still ivory, but the game was played differently. They tried, the Americans tried to hit the ball into eat all the other balls as many times as they could and see how many combinations of strikes they could create. The table was found to be made of oak wood. During this time period we saw how the tables have changed and now designers became involved. There would be carpenters that would specifically make pool tables for a living and they would design them with beautiful designs and they would sell for much more than the early tables that were not you know designed to look well and just are for average play. The tables here also were recreated not with simple wood but with thick timber to try to avoid the warpage that wood goes through with over time. It still would warp but not in the same amount of time that it would normally warp. The tables were still covered with the wool um, and dyed green and that's it for right now. Now moving on. Now that I've explained the 15th, 15th, uh, 15th century and the 18th century pool tables, you know, we come up to the 19th century and how has it changed? Well, the 19th century changed in the fact of the whole game play. They came up with the new style play called 8-ball and the tables changed by, this is a 12-foot table, alright, so this is the new style table and you know, it's got the old classic look of um, modern wood on the side. You get some detail on the side of it. The table's still made of wool. It's got designs on it and markers have been added since the usage of play. But with the early tables, you know, they were only made of simple wood and then um, the timber, which started the warp. And the 19th century fixed it by creating a wooden frame and um, inside they would pour a le level layer of uh, concrete so the balls, you know, they lie smooth surface to glide on, you know. And it improved play and no warp and people could have their tables for years and years and years and years and no problems. The only problem is you have to get it re-leveled every so often. Um, now, I, I mentioned the new game that the um, Americans came up with during the 19th century was 8-ball. Eight, eight and with that, we have uh, 15 balls all from the game previously, all played in here. And they're striped, they're solid, and they're put into a rack, squared up, and then we hit them uh, with a break, so called. Uh, this new game allowed the table to have more pockets, like the British table had six pockets, and now we changed from four pockets to six pockets to allow for this difference. Uh, the game is played by every person takes their turn. Uh, if I, you know, I knock a ball in, it's still my turn, but if I knock the player's ball in, it's his turn, and the ball stays in the pocket. And first one to hit the eight ball in wins. Now, we still have, still most uh, tables have ivory balls that are older, but this is a newer table at my friend's house, and, you know, the, the balls that came with it aren't really ivory, but uh, they're made of synthetic uh, rubber, you know. So it's it still looks the deal, but you can tell. Um, pool sticks have changed in the fact that now they have designs of rubber grips, and they come in two pieces that are rolled up together. Um, now, when I was talking about the Q-tip, or um, yeah, the Q-tip for the pool stick, as you can see, 
right here is the Q-tip, and uh, it's just a two-piece with a like a. It, it's almost like a, a rock kind of top to it that allows for a smooth strike when you hit the ball. You know, instead of just regularly um, like shanking it, you know, it allows you for grip and the normal chalk comes in any colors you want. And just rub it on. Now, anybody can play uh, billiards. Um, we saw how in the 15th century, how uh, the rich were the only ones to play because it was just a newly invented game. But now, you know, as it progressed, it got more and more common. And once it was in all bars in 18th century England, everybody could start playing. The word got out, and it was eventually moved to America. And you know, the game keeps changing. So this game didn't, as my friend said, didn't start just in the 1950s. This game has been around for years and years, and it was made from cro uh, croquette. Like, who would have guessed that? Um, like a stupid game outside, now you got indoor games that are fun to play. Um, when you first saw me playing the game earlier in the film, you saw me, you know, playing around. There's p professional athletes now that are billiards players. And, you know, people started off just as a sport for the love of the game, you know, playing it. But then it became a business tool by creating them and putting them in pool bars, which allowed people to come in and want to play the game. And, you know, furniture makers would design beautiful tables for other people. And now it's become a professional sport where somebody can make a living, you know, if they're good enough to play pool and not lose, you know. So the game has changed throughout history and it probably will continue changing. And this is still one of the classic tables, but there's other tables that are metal and any plastic, any other sort you could think of, but this is an old, supposed to be an old classic table, and many famous people have played it throughout history, many common people, and it's just a game for you and I to enjoy. Um, thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something about pool history of billiards, or however you want to call it. I'll see you next So all in all, I'll see you next time, class. Great school!